Hey everybody, this is Brian from Canadian Online Gamers. Uh, today I want to try a little something different. I'm playing this game I just picked up called This War of Mine. Uh, the different thing I'm going to be trying is I have not yet played this game in the slightest. I've gotten as far as this loading screen, or this welcome screen, and that is it. So um, we're going to be we're going to be checking this out together. I got a preview code of this. Um, the developers told me it involves the first 12 days of the of the campaign, if you will. I don't know what that entails. I don't know if the campaign's 100 days, 500 days, 20 days. Not a clue. But we're going to be able to play through 12 days right now. Um, and yeah, I don't I don't know a thing about this game, so we're just going to hop in and give it a shot. If there's a cutscene here, I'll try my best not to talk too much over it. That is a cool looking art style. It looks like it's charcoal drawings. That looks really neat. Oh, and as it moves, you really got a three-dimensional look. If you look at the building here on the right, at first it kind of looked flat, but now it looks really three-dimensional. It looks really neat. It's kind of cool up here, too. You can see there's it's mostly black and white, but there's a little bit of color in some spots, too. This looks really cool. Okay. Okay, it's just a little bit of setup, it looks like maybe these are some of the actual developers, I have no idea. Um, huh, okay. We have Katya, seems like she's starting to feel a bit unwell. Well, sorry Katya, hopefully we can, <laughs> hopefully we can do something about that. Uh, okay, this person's saying... Let's see if there's anything useful left here. What can I... can I click? Okay, I can click. And it looks like there's... Oh, and I can pick. Okay. I hope we'll manage to keep warm here. That's Pavel. I have Bruno. And I have Katya. Let's start clicking on things. This is a workshop, it's a crafting table. Looks like I can make a bed, radio, a bunch of different things, but it looks like I need materials, which I don't have. So let's try this. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, pick up some materials. I don't know why you wouldn't grab all unless there's an inventory limit. If there's no inventory limit, always grab everything. Learn that from adventure point and click adventure games. Alright, let's go over there. I wonder if I can do more than one can I move? Oh, okay, I can move more than one person at a time here. Okay, let's grab everything. if I can get through this door. Looks like I can get through it, but he's going to take some time. Okay, got some more stuff. I wonder how the days go here. Like, do I just have to finish a certain number of things and then the day is over? Oh, it says up here I can end the day whenever I want, but it's also, it's also running on a timer, so I probably... At some point, it'll probably make me go on to the next day. Oh, oops. Looks like there's some more stuff to grab up here. Someone just search for supplies at night. Okay. It's only 10.30 in the morning, so we'll deal with that later, Katya. Grab all. The rubble is blocking away. It'll take a while to pick through it. Okay. 
when I'm doing stuff, I'm seeing these little circles coming out, like noise cones. So I'm wondering if there's going to be some stealth involved. I could really use a shovel, he says. Okay. Gonna get this guy to go down here. Maybe she can go back to the crafting table and see about a shovel. We've got a lot of materials now, that's for sure. Grab all. Okay, shovel. Bed, chair, heater, radio, stove, still, metal workshop. Tools such as shovels, so I need to build a metal workshop. Okay. Oh. I need to pick a place for it. Sure, that looks fine. So presumably that's happening. Bruno's a good cook. I wonder how this stuff's gonna come into play. Need to manage hunger of all these guys. Let's get you doing something. I can see this being difficult if you have to keep a lot of keep a lot of balls in the air. Pardon my language, but it says "fuck the war," so I imagine. Uh, I mean, that was kind of the setup. We're kind of in in a war torn area here. I'm wondering how that's going to come into play. Okay, we got our metal workshop. I needed to build a shovel. Looks like I have the materials for it, so let's do that. He can't get over there because of the rubble. This guy opened up this door, but he can't get very far because of the rubble. So we're kind of just waiting for the shovel. Okay, I think we got a shovel now. I wonder if to put it on anyone, or if I could just come do it myself. Or with any, with any of the characters, I should say. Let's just try this out. Okay, he's got a shovel. He's in business. Can we do more than one thing at once with the shovel? Okay. More stuff. Always, always glad to take more stuff. Let's clear all the rubble we possibly can. He's doing okay with that. He must have the shovel too. Pick that lock. Where's this guy going? I thought I wanted him to do that. Where is he going? Well, let's get him to do this. And she can maybe start clearing this stuff. Oh, oops, oops. the door. Door's locked. It's hitting nighttime here. They mentioned that I should send somebody outside at nighttime. So. Oh, okay. Now it's officially nighttime. Plan the night. Oh, this is neat. Okay. So we might have to take some shifts here. She's got bargaining skills. Fast runner, good cook. Well, let's have him guard. Let's have her sleep since she's sick. Let's have the fast runner out scavenging. Uh, let's see. Lots of food. I'm guessing this is how I am right now. Or wait, is there... Oh, I can pick. Oh, I can pick where I'm gonna go scavenge. Lots of food, huge amounts of materials, some meds, some parts. Weapons. Caution advised, I don't want to go there. 
Let's go here. Seems like it's got a lot of the basics. We can send him with some stuff for the scavenge, so let's send him with the shovel. I don't know what he's going to need. Let's send him a little bit of water. And some food, and some meds, just in case he runs into trouble. Not a clue if that's going to help. <laughs> oh boy, I, I thought that was just going to be automatic. I have to actually go do it. Oh, this place is on fire. Okay. This is ominous. Looks like there's a dead body hanging out that window. Oh, he's got limited supply space. That's why they give you the option not to take everything. What have I got here? Oh man, does this stuff stack? Okay. It stacks up to four. That's brutal. Mm. I don't know what I need. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Look at that. I don't know how much scavenging I can do. Let's see. Bandages, medications. I'm gonna drop the pistol shells because I don't even have any weapons. Which might be bad. He's a fast runner, so if I need to get out of here, I should be able to get out of here. I think it's just a rat. It's scary. It could have been anything. I have no... This game hasn't tipped its hand yet. I have no idea what's going to be happening here. kind of done with this house, though, if we don't have any more room for materials. Can I stack any more of this stuff? Okay, grab something. Oops, I didn't mean to be running. Ah, why not? Let's go out this door, see what happens if I come out here. Alright, let's just head back. Pavel is back. I'd have felt awfully guilty if I got him hurt. Okay, so that, you know, a day's pretty long. It's, it's interesting that I'm going to get a chance to play through 12 days here, just in this little demo. Okay, that's good. 
Cavill's hungry and tired. Bruno heard about some groups wandering the area. He's also hungry and tired. She slept poorly. She's hungry and she's sick. Now this guy said he's a good cook. Is that can I can I get him to cook? Or can I get him to eat? Oh man, he just ate that and it says he's still hungry. Let's get to crafting. We might need to do some work. Maybe we can cook some food. We have somebody who's a good cook. Let's make a stove. Let's put it in the kitchen. Or the closest thing to the kitchen that we've got. Should also try and make some beds if nobody's sleeping well. I might have just eaten my last bit of food, too. Let's make a bed. I don't know. Boy, it's, it's tough to decide what you want to make when you don't exactly know what's going on. Beds don't seem like the top priority, but... I can't make food. Let's make a water collector. No water's a bad thing, that's for sure. Wonder if the rainwater collector has to go. Does it have to go outside? Guess not. Put it in the basement? That doesn't seem to make any sense, but. Why not? She's sick. Let's get her to take her pills. Um, yeah, I, I, I have not figured out this game yet. <laughs> it's interesting. I definitely want to play more of it, um, but I'm just not 100% sure what's happening. That's the right dose for today. So she's slightly sick and she's on meds. Hopefully that helps. Let's get our cook here. Maybe he can cook. Our water collector. Oops. What does our water collector do? I need a filter. Oh, so I can craft clean water here with a filter. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if that was worth my time. I can make fuel. Cooked food. Boy, this, there's a lot going on here. Let's make some fuel, I guess. Lockpick shovel. Make a knife. Don't want to make any of that stuff right now. At least we have a bed. Maybe I can let her sleep during the day. If that's the case, I'm going to let him sleep since he went out scavenging last night. I should sleep off the last night, so he needs to sleep too. Just for the sake of uh, advancing things a, a bit here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the end of the day. I kind of just want to see I want to see what this game has to offer here. I'm gonna do something risky. I'm gonna let both of these guys sleep. One of them in the bed. I'm gonna send her out scavenging. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to the garage. I know it says caution advised, but I kind of want to see what's up with this game, so... Let's bring a shovel. But other than that, nothing. Let's see... Grab some 
some stuff. In retrospect, I should have never brought in anything with me last time I went scavenging. What's this? What's that? Fertilizer. Don't know if we're going to be needing that yet. I'll bail on that if I need to. bring any meds. So I guess that's the end of this. Maybe we can come back another day. There's somebody else sleeping in here. I'm just going to poke my head in and see what happens. Oh, <laughs> they don't like that too much. Oh, he's limping. Poor guy. Okay, okay. Okie doke. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna run away. What's this? What am I doing here? Oh, I can crouch. Okay. I don't mean to be purposely putting Katja in peril, but I kind of want to see... <laughs> kind of want to see what happens in this game. I'm going to do one more night, and I think we're going to cut it off at that. Um, it's interesting. It sure is interesting. Uh, just, just for a little bit of uh, info, this game is on Steam. You can check it out, but it is not yet for sale on Steam. Um, but there's... There's a really cool looking. There's a really cool looking trailer. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Pavel got wounded and they took a bunch of our stuff. Oh no. Well, this isn't what I would normally do, but I'm just gonna skip to the next day, cause. A bunch of new places to go. Let's go to the school. Yeah, sorry, I was saying there's a um, there's a there's a Steam store page up. You can't buy the game yet, um, but there's a trailer that is really really well done and interesting looking. Um, it gives you the idea that this game is, is basically a wartime game, but it's a wartime game from the perspective of and of the civilians. Um, and that's kind of proving true so far from what I've seen. And that's, that's a really interesting concept. I heard it was... Um, one of the developers said it was kind of an idea they got uh, when they read a short story about somebody who uh, survived the Bosnian War. Um, it's a really interesting way to take a look at things, so I'm curious to see where this goes. It's certainly got a lot of atmosphere to it. I'm, I'm curious to see more. Um, but just for the purposes of this, I'm going to just poke my head a little further than maybe I should. Oh, there's people with guns in there. They're talking about protecting people. I'm gonna open the door. No oh, good, it's locked. <laughs> Let's get I'm getting out of here. Uh -oh.
So these people seem like they're good people, which is nice, but they're not happy I'm here. That's for sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. I guess I should have known that was going to happen. <laughs> okay, um... That's all... Oh, I feel really bad about that now that they showed me his face. Oh, no. And it looks like Kachi is... critical and, and sad. I, I don't doubt she's sad. Jesus. Oh, man. I feel horrible about that. Um, I'm going to surrender for now. That's this war of mine. Um, I'm really interested to see what more comes of this game. It looks really impressive. Um, I'm definitely going to play some more of it and write up a little preview once I've had a, a longer look at, at what this game has to offer. Um, boy, that's pretty cool. It looks It looks amazing. It really does. Okay, that's uh, this war of mine. Thank you very much.